Uh, hello, my name is Nesk Tilson, and this is a short video just to explain um, three different techniques that I use to make curved handrails. Um, there are other techniques that I use, more traditional and other more modern techniques, but these three techniques I've been show, I've showed how to do them in previous videos, and it's an interesting to sort of do a little resume on how they work. Now, the first technique you know, I've shown in the last few videos I've given on my, my website. Uh, this is a technique which I use for irregular shapes. Irregular shaped handrails which have to be uh, built following a metallic rail. Uh, the actual heart of the rail is built by um, putting these sort of pieces, these separate pieces here, onto aluminium wires. And this gives me a little snaky, snaky shape which I glue onto the metallic rail to get the exact, gives me the exact shape of a handrail. Once the shape is fixed and, uh, and been taken off the metallic rail, I take the, um, I take the heart, this is the heart shape, the uh, wood which is, is taken the shape off the metallic rail, and I glue veneers around it, which give me a thickness of, of, um, of wood, which can be then moulded and this gives me the square section. This is a square section which is um, the starting of the stair and it's ready to be moulded. Here's a quarter turn which is also ready to squared, ready to be moulded. And this is a, this is a moulded section of the same sort of rail. You can see there's the outer, outer layer of walnut veneers that has been built up to enable us to do a moulding and to give it a, a nice smooth finish. When the stair is not irregular, but is a fairly regular curve on the metallic rail, I can use a method which is far quicker, which doesn't require taking off the shape of the metallic rail, but I use um, the tangent system of, um, of marking out a hand rail, and I use um, a technique which I call twisted laminates. Now this is a, a hand rail, squared hand rail made in twisted laminates. Um, the actual hand rail stands in space like this, and the laminates are in fact following the actual ramp being are inclined here. The, the, I make a pack of laminates and then using the tangent handrail system I calculate the twist angle and then put on a mould and I twist the whole pack of laminates to give the actual shape of the handrail. And this gives us this shape. And this doesn't require any taking uh, the shape off the hand, metallic handrail and you can just mark it out from the plan and it usually fits out quite well. Here is another example of twisted laminates, which have been which have been rounded off at the top. It can be rounded off or moulded. You just have to give enough layers on the outer laminates to be able to mould it. This one's got a decorative effect, where the, the laminates have been changed. The the type of wood has been changed, and it gives us a, a decorative effect of, of having different coloured woods. Another way of making a laminated handrail is. This rail here. Now, this rail here has been made out of cut of a, of a string, which has been made in horizontal um, uh, laminates. The horizontal laminates are, in fact, the laminates which are horizontal to the stair, and they are in this direction here. Now, we, made, we have made a string by gluing up horizontal laminates, and then we veneer the outsides, and this gives us this shape once we've cut out the handrail. The handrail has actually been cut off the top of the string. I haven't got a, a string to show you, but the, I've got a piece of horizontal uh, string. This is, not a, this is not a string of the actual stair, it's an actual string which goes around the, um, uh, the stairwell. And it's a curved part of the string. And we can see very clearly how it's been made. It's been made by horizontal laminates which have been glued up in this way, cut out as curved and glued up and then they have been veneered on either side and this is the handrail section which goes on top of it. If this was a stair string, the, the handrail would have been cut out of it in this, we can see it, would have been cut out in this way, through the string like this. And all the, the laminates are horizontal in this way. So, thank you. This is um, three ways of making a handrail, in a curved rail. There is a, I use another two or three ways, um, which have each way has its own advantages and is, a, is more or less adapted to certain situations. 
Right, thank you very much for watching and I hope that this has been in, of interest to you. And uh, don't forget to go on my website and there's more detailed videos on each particular way I'm making it. And um, I hope you find that interesting. Thank you very much. Bye.